had a lot of questions and a lot of people um, kindly showing their concern for me. Um, so I just wanted to check in. I know I haven't been posting many videos lately um, for several reasons. Um, part of it was I had some travel going on um, right before all of the outbreaks started, uh, so I was busy with that. Um, and I've also been trying to figure out with my job, as you know I am a teacher, um, exactly how I'm going to play a role in this year's school year and how we are going to be doing classes. So it has been quite a journey the past couple weeks or months. Um, but updates so far, um, I am still currently employed, which is good. It's about all I can ask for. I apologize if you are someone who has been affected otherwise and is in a different circumstance. Um, but for right now, for those checking on me, yes, I am still employed. Um, I'm doing a lot of lesson planning from home, um, making worksheets and um, activities and things like that for my students. So probably one of the most frustrating things for me, um, which it's really small in the big picture of everything, but I was very excited to move to Japan um, to be able to go to the um, sakura festivals and see the flowers blooming as well as um, to see the wisteria flowers. Um, Kyushu, the one of the more southern islands of Japan, um, has a lot of wisteria flowers or Fuji no Hana as they are known here. Um, and they are just beautiful, beautiful tunnels and trellises filled with these little purple flowers that hang down. As you've noticed, my name is Dancing Whimsy Steria on this channel. Um, and part of Whimsy Steria is supposed to be like whimsical wisteria. So that's where Whimsy Steria comes from. Clearly it's one of my favorite kinds of flowers, but all of the parks that have them are actually closed currently um, so that people do not travel. Um, in addition, some of the parks, like some of the tulip festivals, flower displays are actually mowing the flowers under because people are still going to see them. Um, one of the cities has, I think, 800,000 tulips and they took a big farm tractor and just plowed over all of them because in one day they had over 400 people come and look at the flowers. So don't be the reason why we can't have nice things. Please stay at home. Please don't travel. Um, but right now I am fighting a little bit of sadness and depression just because they are in bloom right now as we speak. Uh, last week of April, first week of May usually. So it's a little bit sad. Um, once again, there's much bigger things to be upset about. Um, like if you're, you or your family are affected by this virus right now. Um, so I understand in the scheme of things it's small, but for me personally, it's a huge blow because it was something I really wanted to do and I've been planning for a long time of taking car out and being able to travel around that other, that island. Um, unfortunately, my international driver's license will expire as of August of this year, so waiting until next year to do the big driving trip isn't even an option because I can't legally drive um, unless I test for a Japanese driver's license, which I have heard for Americans is nearly impossible to get. Or I'm still looking into those options um, to see if it's possible to get a driver's license, but honestly, I don't know that it would be worth it. Um, to go through that whole entire process and hassle and all the time it would take to do that. Um, and it's not something I can do from home, so it's not even like I can really do it here while I'm sitting at home. You have to like take a test and go out and prove your knowledge and do it all in Japanese. So I just don't think it'll be something I can feasibly do while I'm here. But the international permit will run out before I'm able to see the wisteria, so that's a little disappointing. Um, but it could be much worse, so I'm counting my blessings as much as I can, and maybe come late June, um, maybe the virus will slow down enough that it'll be safe to take a car out and travel around a little bit. So, looking forward to hopefully better days. I am wearing my little face masks, um, if I need to go out, I'm pretty much just going out for groceries at this point, just to try not to be in contact with the virus or anything. It's pretty much the only places I go. Um, grocery bank and post office, just as needed. 
Um, an update though that just happened this week um, is that no airmail to the United States will be accepted by the Japanese post office. Um, so I feel bad. I have a lot of friends that I sometimes send birthday cards to and things um, which may or may not be able to send. I'm still trying to figure things out. Um, in the fine print on the Japan Post website, it says that postcards are still able to send, um, but it doesn't really say for sure about envelopes and letters, so I'm not 100% sure on that. Um, but packages can't be sent right now by air. Um, as of right now, you can still send by surface via boat, um, but that usually takes at least a good three to four months. The airmail um, mostly is because with there being less planes traveling back and forth with tourists, that has decreased the amount of transport vehicles to take the mail back and forth, which has also meant that less mail has been sent. Um, so they actually said that with the current amount of packages and items for airmail that they have received, at the current rate of transportation going back and forth via flights, that it may take up to three to four months for them to catch up on the backlog of packages. Um, just because the current rate of shipment and the current availability of flights going back and forth is much lower. We are not officially in lockdown. Um, we are in level four, state of emergency, which means please reduce contact with other people, please avoid going out, but the government's trying to politely say, hey, we don't want to put you under lockdown or create these laws, um, so please just stay home so the virus doesn't spread. Um, but yeah. So that's the current update. We aren't actually under lockdown. There's no one standing outside my door with a gun telling me to stay inside or anything stupid like that. Um, it actually sounds like maybe it's a little bit more relaxed than the USA right now. Um, but I believe I heard news that the grocery stores are supposedly going to start reducing hours and closing by six o'clock most days. So getting there after work will be difficult. Um, I might have to go over lunch or ask for an extended lunch break. And I've also heard mention that um, some stores may start doing social distancing, like putting the tape on the ground, making you stand six feet apart, and only letting so many people into the store. Um, that hasn't officially started yet, but that might be something that they're looking to implement in the next week or two. Um, but yeah, we have about as many cases as the state of Indiana. I've been watching both numbers because my family's from Indiana. Um, so Tokyo, Japan is about equal in cases with Indiana right now, um, but have had fewer deaths. But it's also just reaching Japan for the most part, whereas it has been in the States for a couple weeks longer. So we shall see what happens. No one really knows what's going on with this, but I wanted to give an update so people aren't quite as worried and concerned and know that I am taking this seriously. Um, and also, if I post a travel video, please know it was from months before that I'm just now finally having a chance to sit down and review and update. Um, so yeah, that is all that's going on here. And hopefully this will be one of my last posts about the COVID-19 for a while, because I want this channel to be something more fun and enjoyable uh, for everyone that is watching and to kind of give you a break from the stress going on in the world. So hopefully everything will be more cheerful from here on out. Um, and just as a final note on the whole COVID thing, thank you to all the public service workers um, that are keeping the cities running for all of the essential transportation and logistics companies still keeping the city going, trains, buses, you name it. And also of course, thank you to all the medical staff, uh, clinical trial testers, um, nurses, doctors, EMTs. Thank you to all of you for what you're doing to help protect everyone's families. And um, yeah, we'll all get through this together. Um, if you know how to sew, please start sewing those face masks, send them to your first responders. I was getting ready to send some to some friends in America, but um, with the mail now taking three to four plus months, I'm not sure that they'll help, but um, even if you can't send them to the people further away from you, you can still use them locally. So still, if you know how to sew and you can make the masks, um, still use them and please be using them yourself, um, especially if you are sick, to reduce the spread of the virus. Um, 
But yeah, that is all for now, and I hope you have a wonderful day, and please stay safe, all my friends.